Oh, Cassie's in heaven. Oh, I'm going to need a bigger incubator. Hey everyone, welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. Thanks for stopping by. It's a little bit chilly this morning. We're on the farm, but we're not staying long, are we? Nope. You ready to load up in the car? Yep. We are hitting the road. Uh, this video is sponsored by Husk Knives. I'll catch up with you guys and uh, show you how they helped me a little later on. But right now we have to hit the road because we are going on our spring break. Mini vacay, right? Yeah. We are trying to do 50 states in five years. What state are we going to today? Do you know? Louisiana? Nope, not Louisiana. <laughs> All right, Ranger, we're doing 50 states in five years. Today we're going to knock off a new state. Do you know which one? Kansas. Kansas! All right. You excited? Yeah. I want to go meet Dorothy. You want to go meet Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz? I don't know if they're still in Kansas. You know what Dorothy said? What? We're not in Kansas anymore. So the one that's packed everybody up, Cassie, you ready for vacation? Born ready. Cassie is always on vacation mode. I am. She's always ready to go. So we're going to get hit the road. Uh, we'll let you know where we're exactly we're going to go and do when we get there. The kids don't even know what we're actually doing today. Ranger was the only one that knew we were going to Kansas. All right, Sue. You're going to be the top cat in charge when I'm gone, okay? You don't let Mr. Jingles push you around. Don't let him get you into trouble either, all right, girl? All right, who's going to be the top dog? Shelby, I would like to make you the top dog, but I just can't do it today, okay? Jojo, you're in charge. Take good care of the farm while we're gone. And I uh, gave Jojo his medicine just now. He is doing awesome. And uh, Shelby, please be nice to Joe. Honestly. What you eating? Pineapple. Yummy. So we made our first pit stop. We didn't go far, did we, Cassie? No. Nope. So we had to drop off some paperwork by the Cherokee Nation, and the kids are already hungry. Ransom, I know what your favorite fruit is. Do you want some pineapple? Yeah. All right, here you go. We got you a fork in there. So the um, pineapple is one of the kids' favorite, and we had to get it all ready last night. So I'm going to show you real quick how I did that right so now. So we are about to hit the road in the morning, but before we can do that, we have to plan. Cassie is out of there packing right now, and I am going to make some snacks for the trip so we don't have to just eat gas station food tomorrow. So I'm going to get a little bit of help from one of my favorite husk knives. So you guys can see this husk knife, um, we've been using it for several months, and it's still in like-new condition. I really like this. It maintains its sharp edge. And this wooden handle makes it easy to grip. It has that little grip hole right there. Um, makes it a perfect fit for your hand whenever you get ready to um, start cutting something up. We've used it for meats. We've used it for helping process deer. A lot of different things. But today, I am going to be cutting up one of the kids' favorite. That's right, a pineapple. And I think I'm going to have myself a little snack and cut an apple up too. So let me show you this knife, how well it cuts and why I love it so much. <clears throat> so the Husk knife is extremely sharp. It's made from high quality Japanese inspired stainless steel. This knife features a hygienic rustic style handle and a 38 degree blade edge. It ensures extreme sharpness. Husk knives come out of the box razor sharp and they'll stay that way for years. It's really easy to hold in your hand because the curved blade with the grip hole enables better precision and handling to make sure chopping and cutting actions are easy. Especially sharp blades make sure that the knife won't slip from your hand applying unnecessary force. You won't hurt your hands either. It is light, durable, and sturdy. These Japanese knives are 28 centimeters in length and weigh only 252 grams, which increases comfort, control, and reduces the potential for accidents. And the blade dulls so slowly, you won't even notice. So the kids are gonna be so excited when they see all this fresh pineapple in the morning, and I have myself a midnight snack. So currently for all my viewers, Husk is running a 70% off discount for all of their Japanese-inspired authentic knives. You can test the Husk knife with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So this deal won't last long, so make sure and click the special link down in my description. All right, you guys want to know where our first stop is? Yeah. yeah. 
Um, Take some guesses. Food? Chipotle. Nope. Nope. Big that bellies, is what part. Big, nope. Bellies? Hotel? Nope. What? Ice skating ring. <gasps> yeah! 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 Not just any ice skating rink, an Olympic size ice skating rink. Oh! Yeah! The big one. What'd you yeah! say? I'm actually about to cry. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't be a funny. true Mazzy reaction without tears. You should have told us. I will, I will scream as loud as I can. If I wanted to. <laughs> Thank you, Norman. Thank you, hello. Oh, that's where, big. Is this where it works? Oh, this is <laughs> Mom, um, did you bring us back? Ransom. Are you excited? Yeah. Did you even know this is where we were going? No. You guys liked ice skating so much when we were on that little rink. I thought we need to try the biggest rink out there, okay? Yeah. All right, Ransom's getting his uh, skates on. Mazzy, you excited? I'm waiting. <laughs> You're waiting your turn? It's easy to balance with. Okay, Mazzy, you You okay, buddy? Hey, take it real easy, okay? Hey, buddy, is that better? You like that better? Yeah. You haven't fell now, have you? All right, man, he's getting all gloved up. That ice is cold, isn't it, sis? We made it to the favorite part of the trip, which is what? The hotel. What's inside the hotel? Pool. A swimming pool. So. Is it inside? I or think I've realized the only reason we really go on vacation inside. is so the kids can have a swimming pool. <laughs> is yeah. that it? Yeah. All right. Their favorite part is always the pool. Hot tub. Hot tub. Pool. Well, like all to, to ourselves. I like to get hot first and then go in the pool. All right. Hi guys. Right now we're in a hot tub, so, and I don't even have my floaty on because I can touch a free food. It's really hard. So if you ever beware to take your floaty off when you're six, make sure to, make sure to see what deep it is and see what number. So if it's three foot, you can get in if you can touch. And, it, and I'm not really used to it, well, I'm gonna dunk you guys underwater. Three, two, one. Are you guys okay? Or did that scare you? I'm gonna go get my floaty so I can um, go into the, that pool over there. See, we're mad anymore. We're right. You haven't noticed where Gary's at? He's at our he's at in our hotel working on the YouTube. So I'm getting in now. See that? That's all the glory. There's my mom right there. Go underwater both of you guys.
so we made it to our main point of this trip. I would say the main destination for the kids, at least. Yes. That is a dinosaur place. So it's called Field Station Dinosaurs. They're lifelike dinosaurs that move a little bit, um, but mainly it's a learning thing. There may be a place to dig and even mini golf. And there's bounce houses I see. I looked on Facebook for this week. The bounce houses and the T-Rex is back. I don't know what that means, but there's something special with a T-Rex. So it looked super cool. And it's in, I don't know if you already said because I focused on my coffee, but it's in Derby, Kansas. Derby, Kansas, which is just outside of Wichita. I think it's a suburb. So we're going to head over there and see what it's all about. Hopefully you guys enjoy and maybe if you're wanting to bring your kids or grandkids, this will help you out in making that choice. We can see the dinosaurs from here, Mazzy. You excited? They're so tall anyway. You excited, sis? You got your warm cap on? Yeah. So it's still a little bit cold in Kansas on spring break, which it's cold at home too. It's not only cold in Kansas. So one question we get a lot, is it handicap accessible? So, so far, everything looks like it is. Flat grounds, ramps, and plenty of spots up front for accessibility. In a place like this, out of the wind, it'll feel better too, okay? Okay. Hang on, kids. Come out here and you care. I want to take a picture. What? There's a man on the back. Look, that's coming back. Mazzy. Do you think they moved that? Do you think they moved that spot? <gasps> Can you turn to the crowd and say your name loud and proud? Massey. All right, Massey, let's give everyone, give her a round of applause. All right. You ready for your first question, first three questions? All right. So T-Rexes visually look like they have really small arms, correct? Now, fact or fiction, the arms of the T-Rex were useless and served no purpose. Is that true or false? You think that's false? What does our audience think? False. False? false. You want to stick with your answer? You are so smart. That is correct. Although they appear small. The reason they appear small is because the T-Rex is 40 feet long. That's how big they could grow. And their arms were only 3 feet long. Shark. Shark. That's right. This is a shark. Did you know? Did you know that sharks can regrow their teeth? All right, now fact or fiction, just like sharks, T-Rex could regrow their teeth. Fact or fiction? You think that's a fact? What does our audience think? Is that true? Yeah. Fiction. Oh. Yeah. Actually, fiction. fiction. What do you think? Do you want to change your answer or do you want to stick with your answer? You want to stick with your answer? Sure. You are so smart! That is correct! The T-Rex could regrow its teeth. It could take up to two years for the T-Rex to regrow its teeth, but nonetheless, it did. All right, let's see if you can make a clean sweep. Turn to the audience, say your name loud and proud. All right, everyone give them a round of applause. All right, are you ready? All right. So, this is a hard one. Let's see if you've been listening. Okay? Fact or fiction? The T Rex was the apex predator of the Jurassic period. Is that fact or fiction? fiction. You think that's fiction? What does our audience think? False. Yeah. Think it's fiction? Yeah. You want to stick with your answer? You are so smart, buddy. That is correct. If you recall, the T-Rex is a part of what period? Does anyone remember? No, it's part of the Cretaceous period. So the T-Rex couldn't have been the apex predator of the Jurassic period. The T-Rex was the apex predator of the Cretaceous period. You are so smart. I've got two more questions for you. Do you know what this place is? It is a map. It's a map of the United States. All right, here's your next question. The T-Rex, true or false, 
The T-Rex has only been discovered in the United States. Fact or fiction? You think that's false? What does our audience think? False. Fiction. False. Fiction, false. All right. Do you want to stick with your answer? You do? Sure. All right. This is actually true. The T-Rex has only been discovered in the United States. It was discovered first in Montana in Hell's Creek. Now, the late ancestor of the crocodile. Oh. So, oh, what? Oh, sign, sign tells so, me about it. Well, not necessarily. Uh, like, he wasn't a dinosaur. See? Not a dinosaur. And then it tells you all the things. Yes. Stay there. Ah, that's a good You guys think that there were dinosaur homesteaders? Yeah, we were homesteaders. Who would want to, would you want to be a dinosaur homesteader and raise a dinosaur, no, Mazzy? No, no. You'd be like a cave woman. Hello, you finally found an egg? I found eggs. Oh, Cassie's in heaven. Oh, I'm going to need a bigger incubator. Ransom, you think you could outrun one of these dinosaurs if it was chasing you? Yeah. You could? Oh, is this a maze? It's a maze. No, it's a maze. You've got to find the entrance. It's a maze. It's amazing. Wow. Stegosaur. posted on. Massive. for this next part. All right, everyone, can we give them a hand? Woo! All right, so our experiment today is to learn what the mighty T-Rex likes to eat. So we have here four different options. We have our juicy carrot as the herbivore option, the lovely ant as our insectivore option, A fish as our pest. We like the ant. No, we don't like the ant. Two more options. No, we don't like the fish. That means we have one more option. What do you smell, boy? It seems our mighty T Rex is in fact a carnivore. Can we give our volunteers a hand, please? All right, T and I got places to be and more fossils to explore. All right, T, let's go. All right, who won this awesome looking dinosaur trophy? Well, Ransom won this little green one and Ranger won the trophy, but they both won first. I'm not sure why both didn't get a trophy, but that's fine. All right, me Maybe because Ransom's race was, I videoed it. I'll, okay. We'll show it now. Ransom's was a little crazy of a race. I bet. <laughs> <laughs> so we were warming up in the car, imagine. Because he's and I. up the right size, you don't have to bend over. But now it's time for some mini golf. Alright, so hole number one's over here, boys. What? Hole number one's right over here. Okay, a little bit back, through the ball, and it'll go. Okay? Alright, let's see where mama gives up. Oh, so close. And everyone goes, and then you go up there. And you try to not bone. hit the dinosaur bones. Leave All right, there. Ransom, your turn. There you go. Perfect. Oh, more. All right, Mazzy. Let's see what Mazzy's got. 
go, Mazzy. How do I, like, did I No, hands together. Yep, and all you gotta do is keep it flat, but you don't want it to turn right here, right through it. There you go. Oh, oh yes! Oh, oh, thank you! It's okay. Mom! You can't do that! <laughs> We're not keeping track. Oh, jeez. You're cheating! You're supposed to go like this. You're supposed to keep it in. You pull it out. Let me go again. going yeah so if we're keeping track it would be whoever made it in the least all right Ransom so we have one last stop before we make it home we are at the little house on the prairie museum near Independence Kansas so story has it that Laura Ingalls Wilder's family was from Wisconsin they moved down here they thought it was open land built them a homestead here in this area and found out later on it was actually the Osage Indian Territory um, and they were possibly going to get evicted. Also, the people they had sold their house to in Wisconsin didn't pay their mortgage, so they moved back out of here. But a lot of the experiences that she had here um, is what made her want to write her books. So I don't know if all that's right or not. That's what I read. I told the kids that we were going to come and find out. So... It's an old hand dug well. Why is it they had to fill it in because little boys just kept falling in. Yeah. Laura never thought she had tasted anything as good as this water in this well. She said the water was clear and cold and good. Yeah. So Wisconsin, way down here to Independence, way back up. Ranger, time to clean your time to clean your house up. Oh, this is this the right size. I said, can you imagine all of us living in here? I guarantee you, the watch your head, man. You'd spend a lot of time outside if we all lived in here, because Mama would chase you out with that broom. No, I would chase you out with my plunger. Yeah, that's not a plunger. That was a house. Here's where the kids slept. Mary so Cassie, what's what's the moral of the story? Be grateful that you live in an air-conditioned house with a toilet? No, don't build on land that doesn't belong to you. Oh. No. <laughs> At least be thankful you're still living. You got to make sure you got a deed to your property before you start building. What are you doing? Oh, that was a good one. Come get your mail. Yeah. Woo! Let's go to church. Well, time to go to the post office. All right, I'm here to get my packages. Wait, what's your, what's your one? Are you the post lady? I'm the Subscriber, post. send us anything? Let's see. What's Seems it? like I don't have the key. I know what the password is. Okay, this is very little punchy. Oh. oh, I didn't They even slept in here. They made them work so hard they didn't get to leave. Time to go to school. Welcome to Sunnyside. Hey, isn't Sunnyside the uh, it's like the daycare, daycare or and Toy Story? Toy Story, where all the kids uh, are mean to the toys. This is for the little kids. Right after and then the older kids and then the older kids. So we didn't quite make the map, but if you come down to Indian Territory, you get close to us when you find Pryor's Creek. And Locust Grove would have been just south and east a little bit. But there, the train track was the main thing to come through. Without permission. 
No more than one student at a time may go to the washroom. At the end of class, wash your hands and face. Wash your feet if they are bare. Shelby. I know that's just JoJo's talking. He missed us, so he wants to talk about it. Shelby, be a good girl. Oh, belly rub, Joe. Okay, 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 okay. Hey, Zena. We missed you, girl. Well, I don't see any. I don't see any new kids out in the pen. That's what I was wondering. If we we're gonna get any new kids or not? Doesn't look like it. So we made it back to the farm and thankful for daylight savings time, we still have plenty of daylight to do the chores in, get the animals fed. I'm checking on the Geronimo. I think that's uh, Geronimo and Poppy over there. You can't see her, He's, she's hiding on the other side. But Shelby and Jojo, oh, they must have missed us because they won't leave my side. Jojo. Looks like you took good care of the place while I was gone, buddy. Good job. Who are you yelling at? Huh? Hey, you were doing just fine. Something caught his eye. I think uh, steers in the other pasture or bull calves are, are wrestling over there and fighting. You don't like it. You go tell him, Geronimo. That's right. You want to show them the uh, new helmet that you got? Yep. Whenever we were on uh, vacation? Yep. We had to go by an academy and you got a new helmet. Whoa! <laughs> you got a hold of that one. Do it again. Good job, bud. All right, you keep practicing. Uh. Makes perfect. Whoa! All right, I know you guys just want fed, but I'm looking for any new kids. Are there any new kids on the block? I thought I better look in the goat pen. That was the one I was expecting, number 11. So, nope, doesn't look like any new kids. So I better go uh, start worrying about their feed. Zena, down, down. I better worry about their feed. Hey, Tom Henry, instead of uh, checking for kids. So thank you so much for taking time out of your day to follow us along as we went on our mini vacation on spring break. And don't forget about Husk Knives. Currently for all my viewers, Husk is running a 70% discount for all their Japanese inspired authentic knives. You can test the Husk Knife with a 30 day money back guarantee. Still won't last long, so make sure and check it out by clicking the link in my description. So thank you for watching and following along today. We hope you have a great day and God bless.